nuclear war could break out in post-Putin Russian Federation. After the death of Vladimir Putin, there will be no peaceful transition of power in Russia. This became impossible due to the destruction of democratic institutions in the country, says Julian Robka, own expert of the German publication Bild. According to the analyst, earlier the president of Russia purposefully squeezed all Democrats and moderate oppositionists out of the country. Therefore, after the death or resignation of Putin, his current associates most likely will launch a power struggle for power. Rubka considers the formation of private armies in Russia to be preparations for such a fight, which Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu, the head of the Gazprom, Alexei Miller and the oligarch Yevgeny Prigozhin are now actively engaged in. The FSB, the National Guard and the army may also be under the control of certain oligarchs and influential accomplices of the regime. It is extremely unlikely that they will be on the same side, the expert believes. Rubka predicts that after Putin, a ruthless struggle for power will unfold in Russia, which may be limited to targeted killings or may result in a large-scale conflict like a civil war. The expert does not even rule out the possibility of the use of nuclear weapons and the territorial collapse of the state. One thing is clear, with Putin's death, everything will definitely not be all right, which even optimists no longer hope for. The Russian dictator himself took care of this, sums up Rubka. Russian opposition leader Igor Yakovenko believes that Russian elites are already preparing for life after Putin. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky is sure that after Putin's death, the war in Ukraine will inevitably and very quickly end, since it is a personal project of the Russian dictator. Zelensky emphasized that in autocracies, all processes stop when the dictator dies.